Hi everyone, this is Gareth Chandler for Poker School Online and today we're going to do a short little video introducing you to the 50 cent turbo 9 man sit and goes on Poker Stars 7. So first thing to find these we want to be under the sit and go tab on Poker Stars 7, very easy to find and we can filter our games underneath this. Uh, by game, so we've got no limit hold'em, that's right, by buy-in, uh, micro, under five dollars, easy, and size, we want a single table, nine man will be a single table, and there it is. So you can also go turbo, hyper turbo, regular, slow, and uh, there's even more filters than that, uh, but we've already found ours and you can see actually that um, some of the players who are already involved in the game are listed. We're going to start um, now that everyone's uh, well and seated. Good start with Ace King. We'll see if we can uh, knock out one or two of these. And yeah, I definitely want to raise this hand. So. When it's nine-handed to start, you really want to be playing tight from the beginning. What do I mean by tight? I mean we're not going to be playing very many hands. We're going to be only playing strong cards. Uh, you see the blinds are very small in relation to the stacks, in relation to how many chips we have. So here I'm going to bet I've got uh, you know a chance to take down the pot if I and we get two folds so so you can save this game in your favorites lobby using the star in poker star seven that way it's going to be very easy for you to find which is a very handy uh, device and these turbo tournaments they go by quickly they're lots of fun looks like we've got a three-way pot an all-in that's a pretty strong play expect it to be a pretty strong hand and uh, Danny folds a nine I wouldn't be showing people what I folded just because I'd like to keep that a secret so I'm gonna fold the 10-4 it's a very weak hand and we want to be playing pretty strong hands early on in these 7-6 uh, not suited so seven and six are different suits. I think I'm gonna call 10 if it folds around to me. I think that's about the right price for how strong our hand is. Our hand's pretty weak. We're definitely not calling an all in. So until the blinds are, you know, 25, 50 or so, I definitely don't think we should be playing too many hands. Once the blinds get to 25, 50, we can try and steal some pots when we're in a later position and what I mean by in a later position is we're closer to having this dealer button so see right now I have the dealer button in front of me this means I have the best position at the table and you can use that position uh, to survey everyone in front of you so everyone except for the blinds acts before me before the flop and then if we do see a flop, everyone, including the blinds, acts before me when I'm on the button. So it's a big advantage to have. It's a very powerful tool in your poker arsenal to be playing on the button, be playing in position. And this is a turbo, so the blinds will go up relatively quickly if we take a look at the lobby see the next levels within one minute poker star 7 has some pretty neat uh, functions so here there's a call and a raise I think I'm just gonna call I think our hand is good but not good enough to re-raise and we've let some people in behind and this player here uh, Morocco 93 from Portugal is re-raised, so I think we're beat. We definitely don't want to be sticking around here with the ace-jack. Uh, it's a good hand. It's not a great hand. 
and Morocco 93 is telling us that they have a better hand. Uh, pocket tens, pocket jacks, pocket queens, pocket kings, maybe ace queen or ace king. Uh, they're sending you know, us the message that they have a stronger hand than us. Whether they do or not is another matter, but you know, we have a lot of chips and uh, there's a lot of time left in this tournament, so we definitely uh, would be best advised to let go of the ace jack here. And Danny9540 doesn't, so we'll see how that turns out for Danny. Maroka definitely, uh, yep, turns up with a very strong hand here. And Danny got uh, caught in the unfortunate situation of making top pair. The top three places get paid here, if I'm not mistaken. So if we take a look at the lobby and we go home, we see first gets $2, second $1.18, third $0.79. Cents. All players earning a third of a VPP. And uh, yeah, we definitely want to wait um, until there are fewer people or the blinds are higher before we start getting really aggressive. Again, another pretty hand, suited king, but um, definitely taking the conservative route for the time being. And I wouldn't recommend limping into the pot as Fanculo99 has here. Uh, by limping, I mean just calling the big blind because they let uh, players see the flop, the first three cards for free. And, you know, that means that they could get unlucky if they have a strong hand. Um, if they raise instead of call, they could win the pot uh, right then and there. That is without any resistance, without even seeing a flop. So Frederick Co. Uh, doing the same thing. And we see it's, you know, they've picked up three opponents now. Frederick Co. has. So it's a pretty difficult situation for them to play in. Almost no matter what they have. Uh, unless they have one of the absolute strongest hands in this situation. Like an ace-10. Uh, it's a very difficult spot to play against three opponents. Pocket nines is definitely going to be a strong enough hand for me to play here. So I'm going to raise. You can make it three times a big blind. I think two and a half is fine. Don't have a very strong opinion on it. And we get re-raised from the small blind. So this is a pretty strong play. They've re-raised to more than three times our bet. So three times our bet would have been 225. Uh, so I think I like a fold in this situation. Remember we looked at the hand we weren't in where uh, Morocco 93 ended up having pocket kings. Uh, this is a similar situation, Victoria. Uh, SC525 is saying, hey, I've got pocket tens, pocket jacks, um, ace king, you know, pocket queens, a hand like that. And for the most part, those hands beat us. And we're not, you know, a big favorite against ace king or anything like that. So just folding, keeping my stack intact. Uh, hopefully, you know, the object in these is to is to cash and then uh, hopefully go from there. So I think uh, Vittoria SC525 probably had a stronger hand there than pocket nines most of the time, even if sometimes they have ace-king. I think you can see that uh, these games are pretty fun. Don't forget to use the favorites uh, feature. And again, you can uh, find them under sit and goes. No Limit Hold'em, Micro, Single Table, uh, on PokerStars 7. Very easy to find. There's always a game. 
uh, and remember play you know very uh, conservatively early uh, and get aggressive late so for uh, poker school online this was Gareth Chandler good luck at the tables guys